Welcome back. Um, I'm wondering where the Abbey is, and one thing I forgot to do while in the church is knock on the office door. Let's see if maybe he isn't there. No one's in there. I don't even have to knock, apparently. You already know. And Gabriel claimed that... Grace would really be into the stained glass. Wow. Aren't those beautiful? And apparently he was right. I wonder where the Abbe is hanging out. There's nothing uh, out in the in the alley beyond that cat, who I also think is no longer there. Let's check the museum. The museum is closed. Or let's not. I guess that means it's uh, Tuesday or Thursday, or you no. Know, well, it technically should be after seven if the time slot indication is right, because it says 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. I guess we'll have to go there later. There's Villa Bethania. Villa Bethania, built by Sonier in 1901 through 1905. I think it says he lived here until his death. And I think I already pointed that out. It's a private property sign. It's interesting. It doesn't look like anybody's living here at the moment. Can we ignore it? I don't think I can go in there. No. Are those burning hearts? Ugh. Okay, she does not realize what it is, whereas Gabriel did. Let's go to the tower. That must be the Tour Magdala the signs were pointing out. Indeed it is. Apparently Grace thinks it's necessary to walk the entire distance this time. Let's skip that. This place is nicely done. Obviously the project of someone with money. The question is... Where did Sonier get it? Yes, that's the question everybody's been trying to answer. Hmm... no. You can't see too much from the first floor. That fabric's gotten faded in the sunlight. It gets hot around here. This must have been Sonier's library. I guess so. Let's see if anything's up top. Or anyone. Hey, we found the Abbey. Wonder who that is. Let's introduce ourselves. Uh, excuse me. Oh, bonjour. This place is open to the public, isn't it? Of course, I was just, uh... Taking my morning walk. The bird watching in this area is superb. Oh? Yeah, the scenery's not bad either. Are you with the tour group? No. I'm Abbe Orno, curator of the church. And yourself, mademoiselle? Oh, I'm with the tour. That is, I will be after this morning. We're taking the tour of the valley. Huh? Quelle chance. I was just thinking that I would like to take a drive, but my car is a miserable beast. Well, you'll have to ask Madeleine Boutain if you want to go with us. She's the tour group leader. Ah, Miss Boutain, of course. Yes, I believe she would make room for me. Thank you for the suggestion, Miss... Nakamura. Yes, thank you, Miss Nakamura. I hope to see you later. So, he's joining us? And somehow I don't believe he's looking for birds. Not after what happened yesterday. He's bird watching. 
Had Bayard know he's the one Gabriel was talking about. Now, why would Prince James's men think he took the baby? I don't know. And I guess asking him about the order would be a bad idea. That's an interesting structure. It almost looks like a, um... I don't know what the heck it looks like. <laughs> like I said, no one knows what that is, apparently. No one in this game, anyway. Okay. Let's head back this way. We can go to the uh, motorbike shop, but I don't think there's anything Grace can do there. Because there are no more bikes. Gabriel rented it. I wonder how he managed to get the only Harley. You don't want to know. Seriously, you don't want to know. I'm going out with the tour in a bit. It's one of the rentals. They're all taken. Damn, I wish I could get my own bike, but they're sold out. Next time, I want to get there first. Oh, well, you're going with the tour later, so at least you're not entirely stuck to the town. My cursor lights up. But I don't think that would accomplish anything. What am I looking at? I love these old courtyards in Europe. They always have fountains or statues. In New York, on the other hand, you get dumpsters. I guess. How about New Orleans? Library. It's a bookstore. Closed for repairs. Sangreal is what Gabriel said he heard on the train. That's the book I found outside our door. Indeed. Library. Looks like something Gabriel would write. Looks like something Gabriel... Unfortunately, they're closed. But we already got a book, so... Who cares? Emilio still enjoying the weather, it seems. Um, okay. Well, what we need to do here is go upstairs and inform Mosley that the tour will be starting. So we need to knock on his door. You know what I think the problem is with this hallway is that I'm technically in the field of vision, although it's behind the wall, and therefore I'm not catching up with the camera, but walking all the it's way around. It's Mosley's room. Mose, it's time for the tour. I'll be down in a sec. And having done that, we go back to the dining room to start the tour. Which should be interesting. Maybe. Hopefully. It is time to start. Follow me, s'il vous plaît. Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, excuse. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Let's see where we are going. Can everyone see? Oui? Good. The tomb and the hill across the road are believed to be the models for the tomb in a painting by Nicolas Poussin. 
This painting, Les Bergères d'Arcadie, is a key element in the mystery of Rennes le Chateau. It is said to be one of three paintings that Saunière had copied from the Louvre after his discovery of the parchments. The other two paintings were a painting of a pop, which has since been lost, and a David Teniel painting of St. Anthony. Unfortunately, Teniel did several St. Anthony paintings, and it is unclear which one drew Saunière's eye. Poussin painted Les Bergères in 1640. He may well have known about the local mystery, for he was born in nearby Gisors and was involved with occult and anti-monarchy elements. Several authors have theorized that there are hidden messages in these three paintings. If Poussin's painting has a hidden message, could its resemblance to this exact location be part of that message? And finally, how does the phrase a in Arcadia a go tie into the mystery? These words are written on the tomb in Poussin's painting. They translate roughly as and in Arcadia I Arcadia was a pastoral paradise represented in art and music of the 17th century. Because the words are written on a tomb, the phrase is commonly thought to mean that Death exists even in paradise, and yet... Yes? The way it is worded is not the complete thought, or even proper Latin. So what does the phrase mean? Perhaps only Poussin himself, and Saunière, knew the answer. Look around and take some pictures if you like. We'll leave in a few minutes. We have a limited time here. Which is annoying, because there's a few things we do need to do. The tomb is supposed to be the model for a painting by Poussin. I should find out more about that painting. Hmm, weren't there postcards of paintings in the museum? What's Emilio up to? I met him last night. His name's Emilio Baza. He's, uh, doodling or something. He wrote something on the floor. Emilio wrote something in the dirt. Some. Either he's really into math or he got interrupted. Let's take a note of that. Although you might think you can just remember it because it's kind of simple to remember. For those of you who are interested, um, and one thing you can uniquely do in this video is go back and see when he wrote that. It's kind of a hint. Why would I want to show that to him? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. Some. Either he's really into math or he got interrupted. And, um, let's... I met him last night. His name... Talk to people. He looks preoccupied. Lady Howard and Estelle are certainly enthusiastic. They're busy. They're not wanting to talk, though. The source of all knowledge. She must have actually read a book or two to get this job. Play nice now. Well, we can't even try to talk to her. It's pretty disgusting the way that Australian drools over Boothane. She's not that great. No thanks. I'll wait until his tongue is inside his mouth. The Italian looks bored. He was taking notes earlier. How are you, Signore Bucchelli? <sighs> Fine, Miss Nakimura. Enjoying yourself? Oh, absolutely. I find this whole treasure enigma really fascinating. Hmm. He does not, it seems. Abbe Arnaud is more interested in the valley than the tomb. Well, I suppose he's seen it before. Somehow, I don't think he's looking for birds. I agree. I'm not sure what I'd say to him at the moment. Um, how about Mosley? Mosley hasn't changed a bit. Attention! Let us continue. Okay, I did not get the conversation with Mosley. This hill is known as Roque Blanc, or White Rock. 
Hier at the top are the ruins of Chateau de Blanchefort. The Blanchefort were an important family of local nobles. Their name ties into the history of the Templars and the Cathars and into the mystery of Rennes le Chateau itself. The chateau that stood here was in Templar hands from 1132 to 1180. The ruins provide a wonderful view of the valley and have figured into several of the geometry-related theories about the Rhin treasure. Indeed. We will stop here for a few moments. Please take advantage of the view. From here one can see Mont Cardu, Rhin in the distance and the whole valley. Okay, we have another limited time to do what needs to be done. Those two are definitely up to something. You've been avoiding me, Dollface. I think you got the wrong idea the other day at lunch. Hm, I doubt it. I'm telling you, you're gonna be impressed, see? I got this really Big Tampa. Monsieur Weeks, I realize you are on vacation, but I am not part of the package, n'est-ce pas? But. Oh. Okay, him and his unintentional innuendo. Or is it unintentional? Estelle, feet in the water. Do you see? Yes, I do see. Oh, it's so imposing. It must be the presence. And Blanchefort must be what is meant by the windows of the ruined house. Of course. How marvellous. And what about the Red Serpent? Red Serpent? Did you say uh, Red Serpent? No. Uh, no, we weren't talking about a Red Serpent. Not at all. I said uh, supplant. I was talking about, um, uh, uh, yes, Sir Ed Plant. He's a friend of ours. Don't be ridiculous. You were talking about Le Serpent Rouge. Is that a copy? Right. Who's got a copy of Le Serpent Rouge? There is no such document. How would you know, Vittorio? Really? Estelle has no such thing. Where did you get it? I heard there was only a couple of copies. No, I, uh, um... Look, perhaps I did say Red Serpent, but we were merely discussing the document. We don't have it. Hmm. Well, for heaven's sake, are you going to search the poor woman? Maybe we should. Right, Madeline? Back off, Wilkes. I was only curious. That was strange. Let's see if we can find out what that was about. Good morning, ladies. Grace, isn't it? Look, Estelle, isn't she just as cute as a button? She is. Yes. Of course, she's with that knight fellow. He's obviously the worst sort of man. Lily, don't upset the poor girl. Oh, don't worry about me. Ugh, worst sort. I could not agree with you more. So, are you enjoying the tour? Oh, uh, yes. I can ask them about Le Serpent Rouge, the document they were discussing. Um, I overheard you with Madeline. What is the Le Serpent Rouge? No offense, dear. But I couldn't bear to speak on the subject another moment. Such brass that French hussy has. I knew she'd upset you. People are just out to rob you, steal you blind. It's a brutal business. You're not trying to have your way with this. Are you, dear? Me? Oh, no, of course not. Hmm. Let's see if Madeline knows anything. Hello, Madeline. Hello, Miss Nakamura. You can call me Grace. Hmm. Interesting lecture. Thank you. And we can ask her about Le Serpent Rouge, too. So, you are the tour guide, right? Tell me, what is Le Serpent Rouge? It's a pamphlet containing a riddle. 
And it's hard to find a copy, I take it. That is right. It was deposited into the Bibliothèque Nationale in Paris. According to French law, every written document must be deposited. But then it disappeared. The rumor is that the authors who wrote the riddle died mysteriously. Okay. Wilkes seemed to know something about it, too. Good morning, Mr. Wilkes. Call me John, love. You're here with that American, aren't you? Yeah. It's Nakamura, by the way. Ms. Right, Missy. I gotcha. I don't think you did it. Mr. Wilkes, you seem to know something about this uh, Les Serpents Rouge thing. Fair income, love. It's some pamphlet. It's supposed to have clues about the treasure in it. You don't seem to be too interested in it. Ah, and all kind of red herrings in this thing. Lots of bullshit. Pardon my French. Me, I already got it all figured. So I don't give a toss. You have it all figured out. Uh huh. You know where the treasure is then. Just watch and learn, girlie. Watch and learn. And as much as I and probably Grace also don't want to, we can flirt with him. You know, I'm not exactly with Mr. Knight. Ah, it's like that, is it? That's right. I've heard you have some interesting equipment. You bet, doll. You know, I've never had me an Asian girl before. <coughs> <coughs> oh, <coughs> you... <sighs> you don't know what you're missing. Maybe we should get together later. You can show me. <coughs> sure. <coughs> you bet. Later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there he goes with those binocs again. Still bird watching. Does he know anything about the Serpent Rouge business? Say, uh, do you know anything about Le Serpent Rouge? Hmm. Yes, it is an interesting piece. Or so I've heard. Lovely day, isn't it? Okay, that's definitely evading the question. Well, Emilio seems to like the view. Does he know anything? It's a nice view, isn't it, Mr. Baza? Mm, lovely, yes. Have you been in this area before? No, I haven't dared uh, make such a long trip. Uh, what about yourself? No, it's my first time in France. Ah. Say, uh, do you know anything about Le Serpent Rouge? Yes, I have seen this document. Really? Do you have a copy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Have you seen it? I actually got to talk to him this time. And there's actual stuff to talk to him about this time, unlike last time where we just missed a little bit of chit-chat, so nothing important. Certainly no points. So, you spent some time with your old pal yesterday, huh? We talked. I figured. You know, Gabriel and I, we've been pretty close. I mean, you know, working together and everything. I know you have, but if I were you, I, I wouldn't, uh... What? You know, Gabe, he's, he's such a... He's he's kind of a... Did he say something about me? No, no, no. I just know Gabe, that's all. You know, there's lots of really great guys out there. Nice guys. Gabriel's changed a lot, Mose. Really? Uh, really? Yeah, it's great then. You know, that's... That's a... Uh, that's good. Hmm. Sounds like Mosley may have a bit of an interest there. Hey, Mose. Do you know anything about that document they were arguing about? Le Serpent Rouge? Le Serpent Rouge? Hmm. Never heard of it. But wasn't there something about Moulin Rouge? <laughs> uh, you mean Moulin Rouge. No, that was a cabaret, Mose. And a painting by Toulouse-Lautrec. Oh. Probably not related then. Figures he'd know about Moulin Rouge. How did you get into the rennes le chateau mystery anyway? I never heard of it. I saw the ad for the tour. It just kind of jumped up and bit me. <laughs> oh. I still don't believe that. So, you never told me what you thought about the treasure. 
As a matter of fact, I do have a few ideas, you know. Oh, yeah? Like what? Well, I, I have some really insightful, uh, but maybe I shouldn't. Uh, what? What? Nothing final, that is. Uh, say, why don't we have dinner tonight? Just, you know, you and me. We could, uh, you know, talk about it. What about Gabriel? Gabe? Gabe's not into the treasure thing. Oh, okay. It's probably best not to talk around the others anyway. Right. What you thinking about? Oh, uh, just wondering what Gabriel's up to. Oh. Okay, that takes us to day 2, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., second time lock, which we will continue with in the next video.